story начинается. Welcome guys, Ren here from Terminate Gaming. Once again, we're back on World of Warships with another replay. This, once again, is prior to 10.0, and it is in the Tier 8 Massachusetts, just like last game. And we're in the ranked game mode. This one's on Neighbors Domination. There are CVs in play, a Kaga, and a Graf Zeppelin. And there's a team lineup. Like I said in the last video, if you haven't seen that one, go check out the playlist up above. The Massachusetts, I felt, was the best Tier 8 battleship for ranked. And this match will hopefully demonstrate that for you. Massachusetts can literally do almost all of it. So, I'm in my Massachusetts. This is one of my unique camos that I got from the Santa containers from Christmas. Uh, I did make videos on that if you're still curious. It's been a while since that event went on, but if you're curious about the statistics behind that, there is a playlist about that, which is on the channel. I did the statistics and also what I got from opening some containers live. Anyways, on this map, I'm going to go over near sea, uh, mainly because of the islands. I'm actually going to technically go between B and C. I like to kind of be in the middle of the maps. You saw that in the last match as well, and in this match. I like to be in between. I don't like to be fully dedicated to one side. Massachusetts, what's so good about it? Nine 16-inch American guns, the dispersion is not as good as Alabama. But it makes up for that by having secondary battery armament that can go out to 11.3 kilometers. And before patch 10.0, it was very accurate, like super accurate. And the AA is amazing. So you get into a matchup like this, and you're going to still feel like your AA means something. Uh, because Tier 8 CVs versus a Tier 8 Massachusetts, the AA is worthwhile. That's why I use Massachusetts. I liked having the AA if there was a CV in ranked. And it seemed like quite often I did get a CV. So in this match, I actually, I'm going to go against my usual convention of heading straight in towards the island there in B. And I'm going to head out towards C and support this Talon. Mainly because the CB seemed like he was interested in going after the Talon. So by staying close to the Talon, I might be able to do something about the, the uh, aircraft. And both of the enemy Massachusetts and the Bismarck are making plays towards this direction anyways. So we need to be able to support our Talon in this situation. I fire against the front Massachusetts here. Uh, don't expect anything humongous at this range, but uh, you can see my accuracy is going to fail me a little bit there as I uh, shot be almost behind the Massachusetts under leading him. I get set on fire immediately. You'll see me damage con those quite often because I didn't feel like he was going to get another one of those that lucky. I play. I like to play with fire, you know, so to say. Uh, but then the Graf Zeppelin decides he's going to try to swoop in with torpedoes. And I didn't realize he could make that sudden of a turn. Thankfully, his torpedoes go wide, so I don't have to suffer through a flood. And the enemy team has uh, switched over to targeting the, the Talon, which is smart because he's squishy and easier to kill. Uh, Massachusetts is broadside to me. I'm broadside to him. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, two overpens. Not great. And this Abomaro is my new favorite target. <laughs> he is now going to be with the undivided attention. I hate HE spammers for uh, in ranked because in ranked it means a lot more. And you notice the Massachusetts is even shooting HE. So everything is shooting HE. So I figured this album I was going to speed up and start turning inward. I was correct. So I predict those on that path. And. Oh! That's a lovely 28,000 damage. First blood devastating strike. Five hits. I think this is the match where I talk a little bit of smack about that. Yeah. <laughs> so happy that I eliminated another one of the HE spammers from the match. I think the match before this, I literally got killed by fire. Uh, yeah, I didn't need another HE spammer. Because there's also a Chapai of Anna Charles Martel. So, <laughs> I was prepared to see all the different HE that could possibly happen to me. So now that he's eliminated, we just have these two enemy Massachusetts. The Bismarck's turned kind of around, and we have the Charles Martel on this side. And then the enemy uh, Chapayev is down over by A. He is capped A. I thank our CV for setting that up, because it's Akaga. He launched Torps at the Abomorrow and caused him to slow down. And so my shells had plenty of time to reach him. So we're up to... Our, we have one kill. We got 36,700 damage. Enemy team... 
uh, the Bismarck on our team looks worse for wear, but uh, at least we still have all of our ships. 5,600 damage later to the Massachusetts, eh. You're not going to get a very good hit against the front like that. So I'm going to make an aggressive move towards C. The enemy team did have a cap there, and we don't have any. Uh, we do have our uh, one Bismarck, the one that is heavily damaged there. This is the one in B, and he's aggressively pushing. Uh, which is unadvisable, unless he was to somehow get something out of that, but he didn't. So, a very, I would say, dumb play by that Bismarck to push in like that. He had no support from anybody, and he just decided to charge at the enemy Bismarck, and he lost that fight, as the Biz enemy Bismarck had friends. Uh, from this position, the we don't have that great a range, so... Trying to shoot that Bismarck, I'd have to launch my spotter plane. I didn't think about doing that, I don't think, in the situation here. So I instead shoot at this Massachusetts close to me, whereas I could have probably took out that Bismarck if I would have had or would have launched the spotter plane. And at this point, we're playing chasey chasey against these enemy ships. They they seem to abandon this flank, uh, and I would believe it's because me and the North Carolina are right here, and we've kind of showed up in a position that would make this uh, a little difficult for them. The enemy Bismarck is looking very worse for wear. I believe he's burning, too, in this situation. So I decide to shoot the Charles Martel. There goes the enemy Bismarck. He burnt down by the Baltimore. And, you know, I like to shoot at cruisers. Uh, cr cruisers are very squishy. We get one pen on the, that guy. You know, nothing spectacular. At range, the Massachusetts dispersion is going to get worse. Enemy Massachusetts, though, coming out broadside on uh, is very nice. I don't know if he realizes that I'm still right here. I've been shooting at him, so he should kind of know I'm here. We get a pretty nice grouping there at this range. Oh, we get it rewarded with four pens and a citadel for a decent amount of damage there. Thank you, Massachusetts, for uh, sailing broadside. And now you got Kaga Torps to deal with. Ooh, that's not going to be fun for you. Uh, Kaga does a decent amount with his torps there. I'm at a sailing at an angle where my secondaries really don't do anything here. The enemy Graf Zeppelin looks like he's going to try to come and repay me the favor. And I was like, oh, can I get reloaded before he goes around that corner? No. No, I can't. Sad. Sad day. But, hey, I do have a Charles Martel to shoot at. He, he does notice I'm shooting at him, though. So he starts turning, but he dies to the North Carolina before my shells even get there. So, really good by the, uh, the North Carolina there to get him. And I'm like, who's targeting me? Uh, it's supposed to be that Massachusetts out there. The other Massachusetts is still right around the corner of that island in front of us. And so I'm going to go... I'm unspotted here. I didn't have guns loaded to even shoot at that Massachusetts out there. But it's a good thing I do because this Massachusetts slowed up. So he's just like right around the corner from me. The Graf Zeppelin on the enemy team seems to be very entranced on coming after me here. Kaga gets a decent hit against the enemy mass in front. Uh, that Massachusetts starts speeding up again. Rightfully so. He doesn't want to get shot by me in the butt. And so I shoot at the Shapayev instead. The uh, Graf Zeppelin drops his torpedoes well away from me. I'm like, ooh, can I turn to avoid that one or am I going to eat that? Get one overpen on the Shapayev there. I eat the torpedo from the Graf Zeppelin. Doesn't do that much damage. And now the enemy Massachusetts behind me is... Uh, Decided he wants to come and say hi to me, but I think he's actually shooting at the Baltimore in front of him. Would be the smarter choice, uh, in my opinion. So, uh, my guns are now reloaded, and I uh, turn them around to put them into this uh, mass, and I leave them on, of course, very low health, as I do every target that I shoot at, that I don't immediately just kill. The Chapayev sets me on fire there, the Graf Zeppelin hits me. I'm like, well, I know there's surface ships still around, but there's an enemy CV right here to shoot at, and he's reversing. So I was like, th he's literally asking for it. So the secondaries are long range shooting at him. Uh, I'm still burning here. I'm just going to pop a, a heal and, while I get shot at by them. I get very unlucky against this Graf Zeppelin. Uh, I must have threw off my own aim there and, and messed that up. I ping the Chapayev because I'd really like our CV to go for him and instead of 
worrying about the Scrap Zeppelin. Because the CV is going to do the most against that Chapayev. I believe he could really alter what that Chapayev is doing. And since I'm on fire is why I'm being spotted by the Chapayev. So I, I fire at the Chapayev. He's, he turned, I believe, because of the torpedo planes. The Kaga goes after the Graf Zeppelin with his torch. I missed the Chapayev completely. <laughs> which... That's a feels bad moment. Just completely bracket the target. He sets me on fire with one hit, and I was so mad at this point. I was like, come on. Uh, the enemy of Massachusetts is still alive, too. He's way over there by uh, A now. I don't fire blind at the Chapayev. I was like, well, I wasted. He's going to shoot at me again, anyways. And I'm just going to pop my next heal while I'm burning here. I believe he's the one that is still targeting me. While the Scrap Zeppelin is still trying to tort me. Which is very, very feels, it feels bad too. Arkaga did not hit the Graf Zeppelin with torps. And, I mean, look at this torp spread. This is a very interesting one from a CV. I'm like, what is this? There's the Chapayev shooting at me again. I think he was waiting to shoot at me until he could get a better position. Which is smart. Uh, he wasn't spotted. He could go unspotted and then make his turn. So, might as well. The Graf Zeppelin's sending almost every single plane he owns against me at this point. And we've killed 26 of them. I'm going to take the shot against the Chapayev here. The North Carolina, my team, is the one capping B. The Baltimore is still behind me here. We shoot down another two of his attack aircraft, and now we're shooting at his fighter. Uh, our Talon goes down. Uh, sorry, it was the Talon that was still alive. Our Baltimore has been dead for a while here. And we still haven't actually killed the CV. <laughs> so, I finally get a chance for my redemption here again. As I keep shooting down his planes. And at this range, I get four overbends. Uh, I outrun his torpedo, I put out the fire. And my secondaries are going to take care of him for me. Well, if you're keeping track now, we also got our high caliber and our close quarters expert. Uh, and there's our AA defense expert with his literally last plane that he had out. We shot it down. So it gives us the AA dispense, defense expert. So now the Chapayev, being the annoying person he is, as soon as my damage con is done use working, sets me on fire again. Uh, we get one pen for 4,200 there. And I'm like, ooh, one more pen will kill him. That's all I need. All I need is one pen, or all three of those need to overpen, or something. So I get one pen, but a superstructure pen. So now I'm like, now I just need an overpen. Uh, enemy Massachusetts there is barely moving, so I decided to shoot at him. Felt like that was a smarter decision than to shoot at the uh, Chapayev here. But my rear turret's about to reload, so I'll use that on the enemy Chapayev. Because he's got me on a double fire. I don't kill the Massachusetts. I get two pens, but they're both superstructure pens. Once again, terrible. Uh, shots on the Chapayev. Tight grouping. All three of those would have hit. <laughs> at that point. And now it's just down to the enemy Massachusetts versus our North Carolina. Uh, I fire at the Massachusetts. I don't figure my shells are going to get there in time. I figure the Kaga might get them before my, my shells get there. Besides... I didn't lead him enough. I get one over pen, leave him on 300 health. And then the Kaga gets some of the torpedo. I am very good at leaving targets with such little health. It is almost a superpower. Post battle results streams. Uh, yeah, that is seven different awards there. We got a first blood, a devastating strike, close quarters expert, dreadnought, fireproof, a defense expert, and high caliber. For 125,000 damage, 3 kills. If I would have got the kills of targets that I left on really low health, I probably would have got a Kraken easily. Not as many secondary hits, uh, but we did hit 3 Citadels, so, you know, cool. Came top of the team, 3 kills, 35 playing kills, 2300 base XP. Pretty nice game. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous game in the Massachusetts that I had, go check that out in the playlist up above. You might not be disappointed in that one. Or you might. Who, can, who knows? Um, we spread the damage out quite a bit. Um, we didn't shoot all seven targets. We shot six of the seven targets on the enemy team. 113,000 damage from main battery. 12,000 from the secondary. None from fires. We didn't set any fires that continued to burn. 
We shot down 35 aircraft, like I said before. I didn't do as much tanking in that game. I was more of taking the damage. So 627,000 potential damage. We did spot for 20, almost 20, well, just 27,000. 90,000 damage received. Most of it from fire. <laughs> 43,000 from fire. So, with one more screen here, Massachusetts, of course, the premium ship, 1.4 million profit. Uh... Almost had a maxed out Dasha by the end of this. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If so, I really much appreciate it. I'll catch you guys most definitely on the next one. Peace out. Shut up and sit down.